information for you. Good story for you coming up here at 615 New at 6. A local girl is finding solutions for the hearing impaired and deaf communities. Nine on your side's Palisaro shows us how. Oak Hills High School senior Jordan Asman. You can learn and see the stories. She realized how people arrived here. There was something missing. How they crossed the Atlantic in boats. In museums throughout the tri-state. So she begins here at the Freedom Center. I created a mobile app that translates their spoken tours into American Sign Language. So instead of doing extensive reading or getting the audio tour, they get videos like this one showing sign language. When museums give guided tours, the deaf community can't exactly go on them unless they have an interpreter with them. And those come at an extra cost. So this app, which is free, has the solution. That helps connect the visitor a little bit better to what we're talking about. And it just like tells the story of slavery and I explained that. Jordan is the mind behind the idea and the face on the phone screen. I just hope that the deaf community can use it and that hopefully it will be implemented in other museums in the area. She reached out to several museums and the Freedom Center jumped at the opportunity. To try to um, enhance visitor experience especially when it's a community that's so um, underserved sometimes and overlooked as the deaf communities. She worked on this app for more than seven months and the feeling now is priceless for her and those using it. She's got the black clothes on so it's easy to see her hands and uh, it's really comprehensive. It gives a lot more information than I'd ever get from just walking around. Paola Suro, 9 on your side.